Hi, this is Randy Nordell, and this is episode 17 of the SimNet Instructor videos. This episode is on SimNet Help and other areas within SimNet Help, the, uh, the SimNet blog, the change log, and also tech support. So we've talked about uh, help in the past. So the help button is right down here at the uh, in the navigation menu. And the help is contextual. So if you're in SimNet projects, it's gonna give you information about projects. If I click on help, notice the dashboard comes up because that's where I'm at, it's contextual. If you want to um, search for something, you could do that. And let's say I wanna search for archive and it'll give me information about archiving items, which is actually gonna be our next episode in the SimNet instructor videos. Um, so that's that's the help. If you want to view all help topics, you can do that as well. That will load a new tab and it's going to give you pretty much everything we have. Our help is robust. It's huge. You can you can search here for it. Uh, if you want to change the theme, you could do that. And that's available on all these pages I'm going to show. But um, but the help is robust. I'm going to close this to go back to our other areas of help. So the other areas, there is uh, technical support, uh, system, re uh, system requirements test, change log, and the blog. So let's, let's start with the blog. This provides information um, about SimNet. If there's new things coming out, if there's system maintenance or whatever is going to be here. And um, we can, the current current stuff, current release notes are available. If you want to go on and see what other current posts, you can click the button here and it'll take you on. So this was system maintenance on August 6th. You could also go down here and look at the different, different current posts here and click on those to navigate around this. Um, you can go back to 2022 posts or older posts as well. So, uh, so this is the SimNet blog. Also on this area, student help and instructor help. That's just the same help area that, that you can get to from within SimNet. One other nice thing about this is the RSS feed is, um, and you can also search, you could search for any particular topic if you wanted to within this area. But RSS feed, if you uh, subscribe to RSS feeds um, either through a browser or through Outlook, you can, if you right click on this and choose copy link address, you can get the, uh, you can get the RSS feed link address and add that to Outlook or your browsers to subscribe to the RSS feeds and get them automatically. I do that within Outlook is uh, then the the, all of these posts get emailed to me and show up in my RSS feeds in Outlook. So that's very helpful. Let's go back and look at the next thing, which is the change log. So the change log is, is really nice. So it's going to, as it opens up, it's going to give you the current, mo uh, current month updates and show you all the different updates that we've made in SimNet. We try to be really, really transparent, um, both in the both in the in the SimNet blog and in the change change log, so you could see what we're doing. And so this is this is just this month. If you wanted to go and see other other months, you can go to previous years here. We can go to all of 2023 updates and see it broken down by month here. So there's July and. June, it's all navigation is over here as well. So those are those are very helpful. And that is the change log. And then also within the help menu, I'll close down a couple of these. Also within the help menu, systems requirement test. This might be something you have your students do just to make sure that their browser is up to date and it would alert them to any potential issues they may have with SimNet. SimNet works great with almost all current version of, a, of browsers, as long as they're somewhat updated, as long as they're not super, super old. So, uh, but it works well with, with most browsers and computers. Um, tech support. So this is one, we have a robust tech support. So you can click on tech support. You can show your, show your students this as well. Um, there's all sorts of articles that you can look look for, look at, search for, um, but here's where you submit a help ticket. So if you or a student has a has a potential issue, click on that, and what you'll see a couple things here is um, 
you'll notice the hours of operation, we have a lot of hours available, 20, 24 hours a day, um, uh, Monday, Monday through Thursday, and then and then a little bit limited hours. I mean, from early in the morning till pretty late at night on Sunday through Monday. So almost twenty four hours a day, every day, except uh, except for just a couple of them. So um, so anyway, know that know that that's available for your students, and they could do it a couple ways. They could contact a tech support person. And it'll give a phone number or chat with them. That's one way to do it. The other is to su uh, submit a request ticket. So they could click on that and do that and submit a ticket to what's called our CGX, so our, our support team and type of request. More detail they can provide, uh, the better. So, uh, so know that that tech support is available for you. Um, Overall, the message on our on our help and uh, and SimNet in general is just that um, we're here for you. Okay, we have a robust help that's available. We we try to stay very uh, transparent through our blog and our change log, and then there's also great tech support. And in addition to that, you have a whole team around you. You have your local reps, and you have your SimNet specialists, and we have our digital faculty consultants and authors and our marketing our marketing team we have a whole team here to support you to give you the best experience we can in simnet so i hope this information was helpful have a great day